எல்லாருக்கும் வணக்கம் ஹாய் திஸ் இஸ் கருண் ராமன் ஐ எம் அட் மை செகண்ட் ஓபன் சொல்லலாம் ஐ எம் அட் ஸ்பார்க் ஸ்பார்க் இஸ் பிளேஸ் ஆல் ஆஃப் அஸ் மோஸ்ட்லி கோ வித் மீன்ஸ் அண்ட் ரிலாக்சேஷன் ஃப்ரம் த ஸ்ட்ரெஸ் தட் வி ஹாவ் மெயின்லி பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் த பெயின்ஸ் அட் வி ஹாவ் இன் அவர் பாடி ஸ்பார்க் இஸ் அ பிளேஸ் வே மெயின்லி ஸ்பெஷலைஸ் இன் ஃபிசியோதெரபி அண்ட் ஐ எம் ஹியர் பிகாஸ் அ வெரி ஸ்பெஷல் மேன் ஹூ ஹாவ் நோன் ஃபார் வெரி லாங் டைம் வித் ஃபேமிலி ஃப்ரெண்ட் ஹூ ஐ மோன் இன்ட்ரடியூஸ் யூ டு சூன் ஹூ ஐ மோன் பி இன்ட்ராக்டிங் வித் Uh, is going to be in today's uh, uh, interview and uh, interaction with and you know most of us in the fashion industry have a lot of problems when the models wear heels they twist their ankles they fall off the stage uh, we have a lot of muscle pulls we have a lot of back pains because for models of um, miss india or whoever going for pageants you have to wear very high heels and stand for a very long time so they, it gives them a lot of back pain it gives them a lot of uh, body ache people like me who am an instructor I have my classes starting soon I have pain that's why I've come here to be a doctor because I was wearing heels continuously at an event and I couldn't stand for long and my left ankle and my leg is swelling very badly so today I'm going to be interacting with a very special man and that man I'm going to introduce to you right now very very soon Colonel Pogarendi vanakkam vanakkam karun you can shake hands now this no yes. problem covid is over but still we have to maintain <laughs> the color pain I think we should forget it and we should move on because it's time that otherwise it's in our mind anyone sneezes before we won't even bother yeah today anyone sneezes calls around you you are an alert mode yeah. i think you should wear a mask mask yeah the more that we go that we won't even bother <laughs> yeah you know it's time we move on and then not to be on a sensitized mode we are yeah. in a highly sensitive mode it's fine now let me hear from you what's happening why are you here so doctor most of the time what happens is our industry the industry i come from i'm representing the fashion industry and i'm sitting here in front of you on behalf of the entire fashion industry most of us don't know when we hurt ourselves on stage that is by wearing high heels or boys by mistake falling off the stage by slipping while walking sometimes the stage may be very slippery girls will just fall by mistake they may hurt their back first day they may not have pain but third fourth day they will be really bad pain not knowing what is happening not knowing where to go move put up or either put up or so they manage to pass but that lead to so much of problems in the future nane heels for nick was right now i have very bad back pain because i'm a man my body is not framed to where he is like a woman because a woman's posture is different but a man is much more heavier lots of back pain lots of body pain lots of girls and lots of boys complain they can't even know where to go what do we do when we have these problems we mostly put a bandage on ourselves or mostly a parents and subordinate i said no that's not the way to deal with it that's why i'm here to ask your advice the, the first thing we need to understand is a fashion industry in person all the cameras are on them when they are new. so the you are on a alert mode where you are on on the screen and everyone is watching yeah so at that time anything that happens to you is going to be multiplied 10 times over here or it's more of mental trauma than physical yeah. you know i'm goes on and you know, today anyone can take it and go yeah now yeah and constantly they have to be at their best on a regular basis yeah which is definitely a, a demand which is higher than the normal they are artists they are artists in their own domains where their body has to perfectly move in synchrony in that they are also supposed to have certain requirements to be perfect like a height we need to be appearing taller and the sway and the move smooth fluid when we go higher as we go higher on the the center of gravity is also pushed up so to achieve to that the lumbar that's your low back region moves into a curve so there's a lot of the curve that okay so ah uh, the back arch has to have in order for us to manage to keep our center of gravity within our toes otherwise we will move on mm. so when we are walking where is the weight distributed between one foot to the other whether it's in the heel or on the toes because now they have raised the heel the whole weight is on the forefoot yes and so they are literally like a sprinter who is appearing to have a heel but actually on that if mind unevenness comes in it's going to be a disaster comp so depending on how they are going to walk if they are going to have a heel stride or they are going to have a full foot forward now they are going to also cross mm-hmm. they are not going to walk straight sure. yeah. okay. they are going to be too stressed in the pelvis way yeah 
So these are absolute requirements for a fashion industry to show that they are comfortable to work. It is not natural, but it is part of the requirement which has been created and we have to fulfill that. They need to work on the core strength quite a bit and ensure, ensure that the core strength is vital. So core exercise is very important. Very important. I don't do it. I should start doing it. So yeah. core strength is important. Then also what you are going to mimic on a day-to-day -day basis in your so I'm sure that you are constantly teaching them how to walk, how to move, which is part of your work as, as a coach or this kind of a, a pattern design. A lot of times you have to have a navel. The navel is, if the navel is in, is in control, most of the things are. In other words, where your navel goes, mm. your body weight goes. Correct. Like, if we are playing basketball, if the guy is training, the navel will not move that direction. Correct. So if the it? navel is moved in that direction, that means you have put the whole load on. So, this center of gravity is already all the TA activated. Now you are focusing on the navel where it goes, then the balance is much easier. So the center of gravity is focus that you need to have on your navel. So you are walking through the navel, not walking through your feet. So the navel goes where you are. But it's too much of concentration, doctor. That it's so not it's practiced. Mm -hmm. You've already done that there, the humper. It becomes a subconscious effort. Mm -hmm. It is not a conscious effort. But you have done it. You know where to keep your seat. You see, the animals don't lose their balance. You yeah. know where they keep that. They are on pole. But even if they come, the tail is the key element. Mm -hmm. So between the navel and the tailbone is an actual balance that comes. We call them as well as a sacrum bone. Mm -hmm. That sacrum bone is a sacrum because when they incinerate the body, when the person is there, that bone alone doesn't get. It. This bone is in proper uh, alignment. Even though when we are walking, when we are doing these movements, the focus on the tailbone and the sacrum above it is the key for us to have a balance. So, this is essential. Movement pattern is planned, but the surface is okay. because one small, you know, unevenness there, it's going to make a change. Okay. And you have to prepare them on uneven ground also, so that you don't give them a flat ground say today walk on the and ground and if you can walk on that it's much easier and I will make them walk into a lot of trampoline and this is called as proprioception without a visual looking at the ankle, spine we are able to know where our body is going in what direction it's moving at what speed you are going and the relationship between the ankle knee hip spine mm. this is this is the feedback Mm. Not a conscious one, mm. unconsciously it is there. So when you get pain, this feedback is already wide. It's not going to happen because you just did it once, you did it twice. I'm confident I will do. These are all thoughts which are not useful in a sport, mm. in an art, or any form of martial arts, dance. All of them are demanding. Correct. And they don't want to fall or have an accident at that point. It's not going to happen. <laughs> so, these are all, we can use a trampoline, we can use a core board, we can use a bassu ball. All these are important to have their eyes closed and practice. So mm -hmm. they may have to walk sometimes with the eyes closed. Yeah. Now where will you concentrate? Yeah. Because the mission is not there. Yeah. Now if you have a power walk, back walk, turn, everything with the eyes closed, now you know where the muscles are giving you the food. But the isolos never happened most of them because they don't have that kind of. Because today's world, everybody's filled with so much of stress and uh, what to do tomorrow's world. Nobody has the patience to. Think. So, when you, uh, since you are a coach, you will be training them to say, guys, we're going to do this. And we are also going to do one something. Yeah. So that we are so sure. Even if it's an uneven ground, you are trained for it. Sure. We don't take it for a chance. And doctor, most of them say, okay, oh, take a painkiller. Well, let's just put uh, ointment. And the tapula doctor, should they soak their feet in hot water? What do you think they can do at home? First thing, if you have injured, ice is the ideal compound. Ice. Okay. Yeah, we look at that. Being broken, bleeding. So swelling is spontaneous. If there is a swelling or you don't want the swelling, 15 to 20 minutes, rub the ice. Don't pack it and uh, cut it. No, you will rub. 
literally talk to the blood vessel say i'm sorry i shoot you this because your body is taking so this so the eyes are mukhya so the eyes mukhya mad 15 to 20 minutes about na ice break all which is like so the ice to mean ice massage but then ice cubes i said on the ice or we have the gel pack to it so no rubbing just keep it on top of the tree pen and move it so no, the cryo no. massage okay. you move it around yeah <laughs> doctor always has to do doctor edhuk na inga vandirukala ipo vandu enak studio thorukku pora doctor kondu vathla so i've been taking a lot of classes and for a guy because a lot of men right now are wearing heels for classes so they have trained girls trained pageant queens how to stand how to go front of the stage how to walk along so being a man while wearing a pair of heels obviously our posture is different it's not like a woman's posture so there is more back pain there is more leg pain inik in a left hand side call vandu because my strap was tight and i stood for 6 hours in a row i'm having pain when i'm walking slightly in the left side adanal slowly the pain is going towards my leg so what what do you think i should do when times that this should remove my heels and keep it for some time then wear it again i today i am i'm going to take I mean, that question, I have learned also where my interest. That's why I said you have practiced if you are using your name. Yeah. So uh, advantage is this practice, which we say uh, very important for them not to have. But I will in any case see you okay. and then understand where it comes from. Yeah. So heels for the most important thing, we have to wear with an open toe. Close to a foot, like a valley, we can't walk. So open toe for the most important thing, strap, no more tight area. That's too much of pressure over here. And the heels are so high for posture. So obviously we get cuts in our legs over here, and this gets very tight. So this area full of muscles are strained, doctor. It goes up to here. So I'm the very kind of under the doctor who's telling me. Okay. If we are not able to perform it, then the whole body is within this space. In the very matter of load. So you are bringing all your balance, like a gymnast, into this zone because it's like a dome. And the dome, half dome, mala na mala na chupa. So the whole load is going to be in the front, not at the back. Oh, ni yah dance model la, ni yah do pandering la. If you reach a solo mojo, can you see this is a system that runs from this shoulder to that leg? You always coordinated with this arm and the opposite leg, you know. So naturally, the forces that are traveling from here to here, you'll be surprised to know this is pain. Yeah. The minute I hold here, you are having pain as I went across. Yes. So the minute I hold here, be shocked to know. Hey, no pain. Yeah. Okay. So it's like uh, it's like a chain, no? Yeah. Coming from here to there, yeah. and all of them are participating in your movement. Okay. So when you are training them, you are training all these muscles which are functional. Okay. They are not separate weight training or something. Okay. They are they are in, as a team. Okay. You can't train one person in the team. You have to train the entire team. Attitude, yeah. If we don't take care, mm. because today the pain is less now. So we are saying, okay, I push my limits slightly further. They are just after two days, another load is coming. Before I can get to sort out this, I have added another problem because today I have one, and I have to give a, a demo for people, and I am doing. So it's very difficult to come. So my suggestion will be on a day-to-day basis. Whenever you are stretching, you should be able to know on the left the muscles are shorter here, on the right they are more. Mm-hmm. So I will do more stretches for the left than on the right. Mm-hmm. So part of the show will be after the show all of you will stretch, mm-hmm. so that you fall next morning and comfortable. I don't have pain. Otherwise, soreness will be more. The difference between muscle tear and the soreness, which comes as rhabdomyolysis, you can say. The difference between the two, the minute you warm up, this one will bad. Yeah. It's a muscle tear, it won't go much. So for you to know whether it's an injury or not, when I warmed up, everything is settled. Mm. It's the best way to know the previous day's work is not good. And it is not something as a attack. Whereas if the pain is still present, you better meet a oh, doctor. Doctor. Rather than just an ankle, yeah. The difference between sports medicine and orthopedics is, when I show an ankle, I don't look at the ankle alone. I look at the end. I'm pretty sure I went through the whole thing. So I look at the from the foot. Who are the people who are not working? Make the others overwork. Mm. Those who are overworking are complaining because somebody didn't work. Okay. Because while walking, 
the stiffness in the neck and shoulder automatically you say hey, you are stiff there that will cause pain those guys come pain with go back home odd postures and i am sitting with cell phone and I'm trying to do this now tell them you want this posture here you will be able to maintain it back home because you are going to be like an athlete who is trained for this purpose that athlete should maintain the quality of the muscle not destroy it. because the training is for lunar mm. your destruction is made for another higher altitude mm. class trainers then they are expecting it to translate it here mm. you if you so tell them to train is throw the this is a absolute requirement for professionals you are you are a professional you have to do your job tell it how can you say i will not do yeah so how they hold the posture the kind of furniture they use the footwear they use that's why i said even training can happen at home yeah you're going to wear heels for a long time practice remove stretch again yeah. so that you undo the bad effects of that and still be able to and my suggestions will be how much a uh, uh, a massive uh, foot massage is essential in your career you should be able to get them to work on the small muscles of the foot so they are supple mm. they don't become rigid so they are able to adjust so foot massage is always advisable like a reflexology or something super so this is my interaction with dr kanan kugalendi if you have any queries please get in touch with them on instagram page book an appointment and meet this lovely man thank you so much thank dr. you